Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Journey to the Center of the Earth. When we last left off, we had the enviable situation of traveling on a hot air balloon all the way over to where giants were. And let me tell you, we haven't took many pictures since then. We took no pictures of the giants, we took no pictures of the mastodons, we took no pictures of anything. But we will steal all this hair that's obviously here. Because why not? Just that one bit. It's the only bit we need. And you immediately stare at the giant. Are you asking him silently for permission to take the hair? Because you've already took it. Let's talk to the giant. Hello! Peace be with you, young lady. Uh, good day, sir. My name is Ariane. I'm a reporter. I've come to visit your village. Hmm. I am Kanu Pale, keeper of the Mastodons. There are indeed Mastodons out there. Also, you're just talking slower because you're a larger, like, sprite, aren't you? Not larger sprite, a larger character. That's not necessarily how that would work, but we'll go with it. Do you live in the village? Yes, I do. Over there. Excellent. Will we be visiting it? I hope so. Why do you breed these mastodons? They gather grass for us, which they stuff in bags on their backs. We also use their milk, as well as their hides and fat when they die. But they always roam freely. What about a war? Have you heard about a war going on? Alas, yes. You humans are so much more primitive than we are. Have you been to the mine? Hmm. Not yet, but I will probably go. We have to help the men here if we want to keep peace in our lands. Or you could just not listen to Wallace because he's lying. That's an alternative. How do I get to the mine? You have to take a submarine from the port in the Northern Territory. Submarine. A submarine. Thank you for your help, Canoe Palais. I hope you find the answers to all your questions, Ariane. Submarine. So these people have submarines. That's not very low tech, that is it? Well, let's go left. To the village, I hope. The village protected by a magic force field. I've got to check out this village. It's so out of this world. No out of this world was out of this world. This is just a force-fielded village. Clearly these people don't have a problem. They have force fields. Just put the mastodons in the force field and you will be safe forever. But no, let's find out why we actually can't go in. Hello. We would like to extend a cordial welcome to you. Here is some of our best tobacco. Thank oh. you, Canoe Palais. Fair enough. How do I enter your village? You have to leave all sharp-edged objects at the gate. Okay. This is one of the ways our force field protects us against various dangers. Oh. That's an interesting force field, but that wouldn't stop, for instance, people coming in with blunt objects and clubbing you all to death. How does the force field around the village work? Mm. It's a wave created by our magicians and blown into the plants. Oh. The force field is permanently maintained in our Valley of the Spirits. So it's a magic force field. Thank you. I for have to go now. Know. Perhaps we shall meet again someday, Ariane. <laughs> it's like, I have to go now. Magic force fields. Right, got you. Going to go over here now. Did you take any pictures of any of that? Of course you didn't. Can I leave this? How do I leave it? How 
How do I leave this? How do I... Ah, there we go. Right. No knife! Oh, you put the machete down too. Oh, that's handy. Let's go through the magical... The magical immediately disappearing portal. Thing. Is it back now? Nope, that seems to be a massive breach in your security. Anybody could come in at this point, but you don't mind. Hello! Greetings. You must be the young newcomer. Yes, that's me. My name is Ariane. I'm Ayura Manude, the matriarch of this village. I'm also the same voice actress who did the uh, pharmacist back in Askiam. Can't you tell? Do you run this village? <laughs> yes. I'm in charge of protecting our community. Hmm. At the moment, there is a hole in our force field. Using my powers of telepathy, I was just mentally scanning the force field to find the hole when I sensed that you were coming. And of course, I wanted to welcome you. I am very honored. So very honored that I'm not going to take any pictures at all as a photojournalist. Do you know if any passages to the surface exist? None of us knows any. But I don't think our world is hermetically sealed. Well, that's an encouraging thought. Hmm. That is not what we were told by some of the people in Askiam. Do you believe there's a threat of war? Yes, we are all in danger. United, we can try to avoid being discovered. And if none of it were true? Wallace has shown me some dreadful footage, and I myself sense upheavals far away. Have you sent my people to the mine? No, I haven't forced anybody. Each and every one of us makes a personal choice in his intimate spirit, to go or to stay. Hmm. This hole... There is a hole in your force field? Yes, there is. But please, keep it to yourself. I think we're upset by all these goings-on. They are sapping our morale. We grow weaker. We need to regroup in a spirit of unity. You can count on me. I'll do absolutely nothing to help you. You know magic? What you call magic is but the development of our natural gifts. Okay. Our people have powers over mind and matter. That's a lot of magic. The masters of telepathy can read each other's thoughts and project their minds into the minds of others and into space. The masters of recomposition know how to move matter at a distance, a gift they use to defend against aggression. That's absolutely fabulous. But I'm not going to say anything about this and just brush my shoulders. What is intimate spirit? In our community, everyone has an intimate spirit. Hmm. A gift that influences what we do from our infancy. Decisions are often made after meditation. When we have to take an important decision, we gather together in the Valley of the Spirits. And where is that so I can stop messing with everything that you have? Where is this Valley of the Spirits? North of the village. Although you're not initiated, you're free to go there anyway. I trust you implicitly. I don't want to take up any more of your time, Ariane Manude. Ariane, you are always welcome here. Everybody's so... This matriarch commands respect. <laughs> she also just trusts you blindly. And there was another little graphical glitch there. Did you see it? Screen glitched out there. Glitched out just before we started talking to her as well. Let's talk to everybody. And these houses basically just made of sticks. Are you someone I can talk to? I think you are. Oh no, your house is made of wo of stone. So, a little better. Hi, my name is Ariane. This is the first time I've ever been to your village. Hello. You said your name's Ariane? Correct. You wouldn't happen to have any tobacco for a fisherman, would you? Funnily enough, yes I do. I was just handed some like five minutes ago. Is this what you're looking for? No, of course not. Oh, what bliss. It's been some time since I last saw any little humans. I am Payanaova, a fisherman and meteorologist. A meteorologist? Is there much need for a meteorologist when your environment is entirely contained in the surface of the Earth 
and you have no night. Do you catch fish for the village? Yes, I know the sea well. It even tells me what kind of weather we're going to have. I even have a special trap to catch big, meaty fish. But I can't seem to get my hands on the right bait. So, let me get this straight, Ariane. You said, he's just told you, he is a fisherman. And your question is, do you catch fish here for the people? No, he catches fish entirely for himself and eats all of them. Of course he catches fish for everyone, Ariane. Also, there is a child there as big as you. Have you ever found a passage to the outside world while sailing Unlikely. the sea? Unlikely. No, never. Besides, I don't fish far from shore. What about the war? It's awful. I wish all that weren't it's true. It's not. Maybe the news is false. You know, when I came from the surface, everything was fine up there. Yes, yes. Who knows? But you're a minority of one. I mean, who would believe you? We live in fear. Yes, it all looks so terrifying, sitting there, peacefully smoking a tobacco pipe. What do you use for bait? A very rare heat-giving firefly, which I place in a translucent shell. And where do you find this rare bait? It's hard to come by. I'm not sure whether you can find it in the village. Hmm. <clears throat> Thanks for the information. Hope it'll prove useful, Ariane. Probably not, but we can't talk to the child. The child has nothing to say. We shall leave. It's not exactly the direction I told you to leave in, but that's fine. I'm sure I can make do. So we have a sort of quest to sort of go places and sort of get things and... I can talk to you. No, I can't talk to you at all. I'm just going to walk by you. You're clearly not important. Maybe that person's important. There is a very, very unhealthy mastodon there. And this person we can talk to. Or just watch do weird... Hi, I hope I'm not disturbing you. I am Ariane. And I've only just arrived in your world. I am Jahine Dubra, a healer. How can I help you? You can whisk me away with your magic to the surface. What is this building? It's a sheepfold infirmary where anyone can come to be healed or to recuperate. You mix men with animals? My science makes no distinction between the two. Fair enough. There is a bit of a genetic distinction. But, eh. How did you learn about the war? From our matriarch, Ira Nunde. And what if the information you received was wrong? I mean, where I'm from, there was peace. Hmm. You should consider carefully before casting doubt on the matriarch. Why is that? I can't go into that. Why do we get the feeling the matriarch is not as nice as we think? Have you been initiated? You ought to know about the Valley of the Spirits. Yes. In fact, I have to pick some bitter berries there, but I can't leave my patients. I can go for you if you like. You'd be doing me a big favor. A big favor because you're tall? <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Also, how did I know we'd have to have an excuse to go there so that we can then go there? Where shall I find the bitter berries? They grow beneath one of the arches on Initiation Lane, at the entrance to the Valley of the Spirits. When picking the berries, your hands must be clean and well protected. You mean with that disinfectant I've got and the uh, gloves? I think I can manage that. I've got to go now. Go ahead, Ariane. You have a lot to do. Yes. Getting home and sorting everything. When we come back, folks, we will continue to solve everything for everybody. Because that is the point-and-click adventure way. See you then. Later.